WCD Exports is sponsored by Mountain Dew. Now, Mo Carter. Hey, good evening, everyone. Russell Fields rolled back to Montgomery for another state championship game in baseball and one last stop in Madison. Last night, the Golden Tigers knocking off Madison Academy in game one of their series. But the Mustangs bouncing back with a decisive game two victory. That set up an all-important winner-take-all game three. A standing room only crowd out in Madison this evening for the Golden Tigers and the Mustangs. Top of the fifth, Russellville up six to two with men in scoring position. Andrew Hatton rips one in the center field. Colborne Net will score and Russellville will extend their lead to five runs, making it seven to two. And look, that young man is fired up for that lead. Madison Academy would throw Alex Wade on the mound. The Auburn commit, but in his first throw, the catcher can't handle it. Grayson throw uh, sees a great opportunity and he will score. Golden Tigers now up by six. Errors played Madison Academy throughout the evening. Final chance for MA now. It's Jackson Herschler popped one up. Jackson Lindsay runs under it and makes the catch. Russellville is heading back to the state championship game. They beat Madison Academy 8-2 to two to take the series. We played pretty well first game yesterday. Game two came out a little flat, made some errors. But responding that's what that's what we're really about it's not about winning blue maps it's about having a winning process and our guys have done a great job of believing in that and uh, I just love how they accepted it you know the challenge was great but so was the reward and uh, here we go again man it's awesome Let's move up to Class 7A. Florence getting the W in Game 1 of their series against Hoover, winning 8-1. But in Game 2, the Bucks getting their revenge, winning 3-1. So there's going to be a winner-take-all Game 3 tomorrow between Florence and Hoover. Covering high school, college, and the pros, you're watching WZDX Sports. Welcome back, everyone. The Hartsel Tigers hosting Chelsea today in a doubleheader for a spot in the 6A state championship. Tigers would move first. JoJo Williamson hits it through short, but that would bring in Elliott Bray, and Hartsel takes a one to nothing lead. A lot of Hartsel fans out there cheering on the team. I mean, look at them. They are out there in groves. But it wouldn't take long for Chelsea to respond. Evan Jones gives us a little deja vu as he hits it through short. And uh, guess what? Re Gunger will make his way to home. He's followed by Andrew Floyd and the Hornets. They take the lead and they would walk away with a victory in game one by final of two to one. So game one didn't go as planned for Hart. So, so how about game two? Well, they bought the fire. Someone helped him carry out the momentum. And this one was pitcher Elliot Bray, who threw back to back strikeouts right there, helping keep the Hornets off the bags. Never a bad situation when uh, your pitcher is on fire to give your offense a little um, juice. And uh, guess what happens? Uh, then Payne Steele, he knocks one in the left corner. That'll open up a shot at second. He goes for it, and he will get there safely. Really sets up uh, the next batter for Hartso. Your pitcher of the evening, it's Bray at the plate. But check this out on the reaction speed. The ump calls it fair. Bray sprints out the first. Somehow, he baits the throw right there. Tigers now have guys on first and third. Next batter, Blaze Gillespie at the plate. He gets hit in the helmet. Tempers begin to flare just a little bit. The pitcher gets heated. Chelsea will end up benching up their pitcher right there. So now with the bases loaded, we've got JoJo Williamson. We talked about him in that first game. Well, guess what? He finds that sweet spot as he nails it into right. That brings home not one but two runners. Gillespie will even try to make it home, but he gets called out. But it's A-OK, -okay, everyone. The Tigers take game two this evening by final of five to one. So they've got a winner take all game three on Friday evening. How about in class 2A, Mars Hill, the Panthers, they failed to Westbrook Christian in game uh, three of their series. Congratulations to Mars Hill on such a great season. 